And with us now, Kevin Merritt of the Washington Post. He's the national editor over there and syndicated columnist Kathleen Parker. I'm going to start with you, Kevin, because uh, you put the story at the top of your front page today uh, that Eric Holder may actually appoint a special prosecutor to look into these torture allegations. I'd also point out that uh, Newsweek, which is owned by the same folks, also yes. had the same story to give them uh, credit where it's due. Yes. How big a story is this? Well, I think it's, it's part of this ongoing development of uh, uh, whether you look into the past and spend time looking into the past and move forward, and that's been a very difficult line to walk for the Obama administration. I mean, well, they didn't want to do this. They didn't want to look back. At least the president didn't, and he's, you know, he worried that it might be like some banana republic where one group gets elected and they put the guys that came before them in jail. Uh, do you think this is really going to happen? And is this a split between Eric Holder? Well, uh, yeah, there's and, certainly and splits the in White the White House. There, there's certainly splits in the White House, which will have to be resolved. But Eric Holder has, has, has demonstrated that, you know, the more that they look into some of the uh, uh, abuses of the Bush era, the more that they think, particularly those who carried out some of the interrogation uh, tactics, should be uh, held accountable. If you you had to guess right now, you think he will do this? You know, who who knows? They could change their mind. But it looks like he's leaning toward doing it. Leaning short. Kathleen, what do you make of it? Well, I think it's a real big problem for President Obama because, you know, he really has said quite specifically he wants to not look back. And, of course, one of the reasons he doesn't is because uh, the Republicans will become, you know, they'll assume a defensive crouch. Uh, this will be, start a whole new partisan bickering divide, I mean, a, a war, really. And uh, that's a problem for his domestic agenda. So it, it's very, uh, very tricky for the uh, administration. And it's not like things are going swimmingly with, for the domestic no. agenda right now. It looks like health care may be in big trouble. Well, definitely not. And, and Obama's own party is, is losing courage. And, you know, I think what's happened, well, I shouldn't say courage, but they're becoming very skeptical of this huge, huge, huge um, debt. And I think, you know, Friday, uh, I think it was Friday or Saturday, the Post ran a story. There was sort of a little FYI story that I think has not quite been acknowledged yet, that uh, you know we're going to raise taxes, $355 billion in tax increases on people who earn $280,000. I noticed you it. You know, it's, <laughs> this is huge. And uh, I think once people really start focusing on that, things are going to get very, very difficult. Let's sure. talk about this whole deal on Sarah Palin. Well, what in the world is going on here? Well, you know, I, I don't know if she's maybe just uh, clever like a fox. I mean, uh, you know, she's the one consistent drawing card for the Republican Party. Uh, and they've had some great stumbles with some of their uh, new leaders. And uh, she gets out from under, uh, you know, the, the pressure of being governor. Uh, and governors are not having a good time. They used to be the incubator. Uh, states used to be the incubator for reform, and, and now all states are having difficult problems budget-wise. And it's, it's very difficult to be a governor. She does ethics investigations. Uh, this allows her to get out, raise money. Uh, it will, remains to be seen uh, what she'll become and how far she'll go nationally. Do you think she's going to run for something, Kathleen? I think Sarah Palin is always running for something. Um, and, and the reason she quit, two things. Number one, She's very tired of being uh, under this harsh scrutiny. She was very hurt by the attacks on her children. But listen, this woman is poised to make lots and lots of money. So, you know, when you're juggling those choices, you can either govern and deal with ethics violations, charges, and deal with, you know, hostile media, or you can hit the national stage and make millions and millions of dollars while kind of building your base. Now, she has said she'll go out and campaign not only for Republicans, uh, some of whom have, have not invited her to join them on the stage, but um, but she's willing to also campaign uh, for Democrats. Kind of and Democrats. So, I mean, is she, you know, is she thinking about a third party approach? I don't know, but she's certainly running for something. Do you think, and I agree with you, I think you're going to see and hear a lot of her. I think she's going to be speaking for Republicans around the country. She she is, is a drawing card, yeah. but my sense of it is that she will never run for anything. She'll never be able to run on a national ticket ever again. That's that's over. Um, and I don't think she's planning to run for the U.S. Senate. I think she's, you know, she has uh, transcended politics at this point. She's a celebrity. Uh, she has huge drawing power on a number of different um, stages. She's got a book. She's they're talking about TV. You know, she's got lots and lots of options. I wouldn't count her out, Bob. I, would, really? I wouldn't be surprised to see her uh, run for president in, in 2012. And and who knows. 
if the Republican Party embraces her, maybe not. You know, you remember Ross Perot, that guy who started an independent effort. Uh, who knows if there's a market for that? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on back home while the president's been away. I think most people would agree he, you know, got pretty favorable coverage. Uh, had that one picture <laughs> that he shared with. Uh, but that's a fake picture. You think? It's a fake picture. No, if you've looked at the whole video, you under you see that that was not he was not actually looking at what he appears to be looking at. He was looking at the ground. And lots of people, even Greta Van Susteren has come out and shown it and, and said, "Look, guys." I saw the there. videotape, but I must well, you say, think she well, was look, he was looking. No, I don't know what was going on, but I must say, I <laughs> love the caption in the Washington Post. I just Post. wouldn't want to be him what at the these, dinner table. What do these yeah, two fellows yeah. share in common? They're yeah, both a, men. A little, I, a little fun <laughs> there, but but uh, the the other picture was the picture from Africa. I mean, he was back in his ancestral home for the trip. Uh, you know, he went to see the uh, port where they brought slaves in. He compared it to a Nazi concentration camp. Uh, so that was a big moment uh, for him uh, and certainly had his family with him. And then uh, at the same time, kind of encouraged the world to spend more money on uh, hunger. 30 seconds left. I'm going to just ask you both quickly, is there going to be a health care bill this year? Uh, I'll say yes. You think yes? Maybe by the end of the year, but not before the August break. All right. Thanks to both of you. A lot of fun Thank to you. have you. We'll be back in a minute.